Hey guys, you're watching the best damn pools of the week. My name is Gian Perez. With me as always, Mr. Cat Jerkon. And what we do is go through the week's releases and pick some of the best books for reading, for possible speculation, and you know, our long-term plays for your collection. I mean, I, I run a shop based mostly on modern releases. I love what I do, I love comics, I love running the shop, I love being here. I take pride in taking care of my customer, my pull list. I've been reading and collecting since the early 90s. And I'm just a really big fan, love comics. I love doing the show for you guys out there. But uh, Kat, what do you got this week? It's a good week. DC, I got two books. I got Batman 84, because we're nearing down King's run on, on the Batman the book. The next one's his last one? Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to figure out who's the bigger villain, Bane or the dad. Right. The way it plays out, I think the dad's the bigger villain. Right. And I guess Bruce finds out that Alfred's dead, and so we'll see. But you got two more issues, you know, see how it goes out before he takes it into his Batman Catwoman series. My prediction for 85 is we're going to see Bat Bruce Wayne in bed, and it was all a dream. You know what? <laughs> I, I have a couple of guys, and these guys are well-versed in the in the product, and, and they, they read it, and they're like, a couple of people I mentioned that it's, it's maybe it's just a bad it's psycho pirate yeah, way to piss me off exactly uh, yeah. hey they managed to do that at f issue 50 right. <laughs> but I got that and then in fact I've been liking these infected one shots I hate the fact that DC is turning heroes into villains but there it's some interesting stuff and this one is about Donna Troy and this is a character to where the 52 when they did the 52 switch it affected a lot of their mainstream characters because mm. a lot of them didn't fit they right. didn't exist now after 52 you brought back the old continuity but again wally west didn't fit in it donna troy doesn't fit in it you know so with donna troy she's become one of the secret six for the batman who laughs so we'll see but i've liked the scarab one was pretty cool the the shazam was pretty cool so i expect this one to be pretty enjoyable I just it, my apprehension with just DC in general is like knowing what we know I, where's this all leading to I'm willing to go along for the ride I mean right. I don't I don't like it I don't know who they're catering to hopefully things change I guess my apprehension really comes from I get involved in the storyline and then all of a sudden one day they just they boom, just cut it off just cut it off and you yeah. don't finish it you know kind of like it's not the same scenario but kind of like uh, the the Jim Lee Frank Miller all-star Batman and oh, Robin yeah, they never just <laughs> never finished well done. That, that's got different issues well, it's different issues, but it's the but, same thing you get into the story and then like boom there's no resolution oh to yeah it, no know? it's it's insane but they're kind of cool so we'll see if DC can build up some steam because Marvel is just killing them left and right, right. You know? Last week we had the Annihilation wave start again and you see that the villain behind it is uh, is the Sentry. You, you know, you got Blastar and Annihilus, you know, they're badass villains and they're running scared and you turn the last page and you see Sentry like, holy smokes! It's, it, it, it literally got me hooked. That last page got me hooked. On Who's writing week. it? Annihilation Scourge, Fantastic Four and Nova this week. I've been talking about the Conan merging into Marvel Universe, and a lot of uh, you know people are like so skeptical about it. You know, it's been kind of slow too. But I feel it's like. so good, and people <laughs> like these books are selling out every week. More and more people are asking for the for the single issues every week. And this week, you got a you got the miniseries starting the Conan Serpent War, and it's uh, they're they're tying it in with. Right. With Marvel, somewhere or another, and it's like people. I mean, it, it popped it into. Uh, it's one of the hot picks on uh, on Key Collector, I think, or some key issue to it. So I'm loving Conan. They're managing, you know, and then talk about Conan. You got Savage Avengers also coming out yeah. this week, and he's going up against Doom, and it's like holy <laughs> sword versus sorcery. You know, it's like it's it's brilliant. Chip Zdarsky on Daredevil. It's not getting heat. But you talk to anybody, anybody, every time I bring it up, it's like, man, you guys read Daredevil? I was like, oh my God, everybody's just like, he's great, the story's great. Yeah, Chips of Dark is phenomenal. Dark is phenomenal it kinda, in this book. It's just, I feel like it's just the character itself. Like Daredevil and Moon Knight are those two characters where they have like a cult following. But Street level heroes, no superpowers, just badass. Right, exactly. You know what I mean? So, and chip is doing such he's such a great writer between his invaders with namor and again if you guys haven't heard 
you know, they announced Black Panther 2 in 2023 and it's Black Panther versus Namor, which... Is that official? Because I heard a rumor about it being Doctor Doom. They're going to introduce him, but the, ah. but but they released Phase 5 and it's Black Panther versus Namor. Okay. So you'll see... The explanation of the earthquakes. Exactly, yes. in Avengers Endgame. You know, so you might see Doom out of that too, because then another movie the following year is uh, is Fantastic Four. So that's slated for April 2023. So they're they're introducing these characters, but you know, it's it's good stuff. And like I said, I was saying Daredevil. It's one of those characters that I mean, Chip on this book is phenomenal. Mm. It, if you haven't read it, pick up the trades. I think he's got two or three uh, two or three trades out. It, it's really. I mean, good you stuff. might be able to get the the individual issues. They got as they well. got later printings. Yeah. yeah, you know they're they're going for above cover. There's there's one of the one of the second prints actually, which has the detective on the cover. Mm-hmm. That one's hitting twenty twenty five bucks. That's interesting because that's the first appearance right. of the detective, and he's on the second print. They threw him on that cover, and it's like twenty twenty five bucks. Right. It's great. Excalibur, Marauders, and X Men. So far, they have this whole relaunch of the X Men universe has not been disappointing. People are still sticking with the books. They got some cool twists. I mean, this whole X Force with Xavier being shot, and then if you read number two, you're, you're like, many was like, was that Xavier? But there's some really cool, cool stuff going with the mute with the Marvel mutants right now. I definitely, I mean, I'm looking forward. I'll probably read those three first, read yeah. them last. Venom 2099. I just, first appearance of a new character, I guess. Can never go wrong with Venom. If you're a 90s baby, that's for sure like a niche thing that you might want to pick up for now. And I remember that 90s run. Yeah. <laughs> As for variants this week, first DC pick in a long time. I think, I, I think it's been, you know, maybe close to three or four months since I picked a DC book or a non-Marvel book in general. But uh, Deathstroke number 50, Beautiful scan cover, and he's he's coming up. Yeah, he's man. doing some great stuff. And I just, I'm a big fan of these half century books and the quarter books. They always seem to 50, do fifty, a hundred, yeah. seventy five. Yeah. They always seem to do something important in the book. So maybe you know, like I said, be, always be tentative with DC, but something cool could happen in it. And it's a great cover. It's just an awesome cover and, and great for the personal collection. I'm not really a fan of the 2099 books, but Ghost Rider has a couple of really cool covers for the Ghost Rider 2099, and they're one shots, so yeah. buyer beware. But there's there, there's a couple incentive uh, variants on it, and they're cool looking. So, kind of piques my interest to see what they're gonna do with that, considering they have Cosmic Ghost Rider. They brought back Danny Ketch, you know. They got, the, they got, they got. Yeah, they're doing a Ghost stuff. Rider push because they're gonna. They're, there's there's a, something the show's coming. coming out from Disney yeah. Plus, so. Something to look I'm out surprised for. you didn't pick uh, Matina's back on DC with his Batman. I looked at the Matina cover. It looks nice, but it was with a, it was the hardcover thing. Yeah, it's the cardstock. Yeah, the cardstock. So that kind of was like, you know. Oh my God. You know, I don't know. Matina. Yeah, Matina. <laughs> Francesco Matina. But it's also, you know, the Batman run in itself right now. No, it, you're right. But yeah, it's so. still a cool looking. Yeah, cover. it is. It is a cool looking cover. I'll throw that up there as well. If you if you find it, pick it up. But that's gonna do it for us this week. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Ring the bell if you are. Leave comments. Let us know what your picks of the week are. And Kat, take us away. Get out there. Support your local comic book store. The holiday season is coming. I mean, we went past Black Friday. Now we're in that Christmas stretch now. Buy some presents. Leave, you know, introduce somebody new to this hobby. And be on the lookout. We're going to be doing a, a special holiday Christmas show about what to get your coworkers and friends and family from the comic shop and, and a lot of guys will probably run sales and and this guy know i will you know probably 12 days of cats 12 days of christmas i'll, I'll have something coming up but uh in the la area is gonna rain don't let that stop you go pick up your books this week help the guy stay in business see you guys in the comic book store